Hey everyone, this is Amy Ritterbush and I wanted to give you the select board actions taken for uh, Tuesday, March 14th. It was a very long meeting, I guess it's just pretty much par for the course, but we had an executive session at first um, to discuss um, police, fire and communications unions and let's see, a strategy with respect to non-union personnel, a town manager and police chief and some um, parcels um, considering the value of purchase, lease or sale of various parcels that were listed on the agenda. Um, and then at the end, we did announce the completion of the contracts for the police chief and the police union. So we're glad we've got those um, out of the way. We still have other contracts to finalize, but we're happy to make progress. So we signed those and they should be available to the public. I'm not sure if they're on the town website yet, or if you can certainly ask for them if you email the town manager's office. All right, then next we had our public forum and I believe only one person spoke at public forum and it was speaking out against the, um, or for the, in favor of the citizen's petition for the um, gun law restrictions and they had some more questions so we directed him to um, send their questions to the town manager's office and they will try to get back to them with the answers that they're looking for and on the consent agenda we approved the minutes for february 28th we considered approving marathon fund requests for um, 3520 dollars for the friends of hopkinton family day and 950 dollars for the hopkinton high school um, parent plus prom committee And then um, we had a public hearing on the Comcast license renewal, which is actually pretty long, but um, it looks like we have negotiated um, a very good agreement with Comcast to be our um, our cable license provider. Uh, and so HCAM came and spoke, Jim Cousins from HCAM came and spoke in favor of it, that it was a good contract and the select board voted to approve it. It will be effective November 15th, 2023. Then we did employee import appointments. So we have confirmed the town manager's appointment of Diane Hendrickson as the treasurer collector. And she's already been working in the treasurer collector's office for a long time. So that's great. She, she knows the office, knows staff. She'll be able to get right up to speed. And then we also confirmed the town manager's appointment of Allison Keeney as the circulation and technical services supervisor at the library. Um, and um, I believe she was she's new to us, but anyway, we just looked like she'd be a great candidate. Then um, we authorized the town manager to sign the Teva, Allergen, um, CVS, Walmart, and Walgreens opioid settlement forms. And the town council had reviewed these and determined that would be in our best interest to go ahead and, and to get um, to sign those, those agreements. Then we discussed the FY24 budget, which was the, you know, the most, um, what do you call it, the hottest topic of the evening because it is very, it's complicated and it's stressful and we all wish, I think, that there was more money to do the things that um, the departments um, need and want um, to make our town better. But we adopted the FY24 um, comprehensive budget as recommended by the town manager and voted to submit it to the Appropriations Committee and they will be reviewing it and holding a public hearing on it, I believe it is April 6th. All those meetings are open to the public and you're welcome to attend. We did ask the Appropriations Committee to review the FY24 OPEB and stabilization deposits. Um, especially concerning the school department has, was applied for, has applied for a grant and they're not sure if they'll receive it yet. So the discussion was that perhaps we could transfer from stabilization to the schools if they didn't get that grant that they were expecting. And I know this is tough and I, you know, we've received a lot of letters um, and with differing opinions and um, yeah, it's just the, the budget is very high and it's really hard to choose where to go. Many departments had to cut a little bit from when they're asked, especially the fire department. Um, also police and dispatch and the schools um they they in the current budget they have three hundred fifty thousand dollars less than their total request they originally requested about 8.3 percent increase from last year and what we've settled on at the moment is 7.7 7.7 increase from last year and we will see the budget um you know the budget um forecast could change before town meeting adjustments might be able to be made but um that's still the highest um budget increase the schools have had in the last at least I think I checked back six years and I can't remember it ever being higher than that, but um, it is a tough budget year. And it's very hard to, you know, not meet the fire chief's uh, request for EM EMTs uh, as much as he thought he needed either. So um, anyway, it's a tough budget year. And we also reduced um, the fund for paving. And I know everybody wants their roads to get paved in a timely manner every so often. So it is really hard and believe me, we, um, we thought about it and we struggle with um, the decisions but we will see what the appropriations committee says um, and we look forward to that we talked about the town meeting warren um a little bit um let's see we discussed a little bit about the short-term rental bylaw i had suggested perhaps there should be an exception for marathon week that they wouldn't be required to get the 
short-term rental a license from the town that they were just running for marathon, running their house for marathon week only in no other weeks. We have talked a little bit about ADA accessibility for town meeting and there was a very interesting PowerPoint in our packet about um, uh, put together by the state commission on disability about how to make meetings accessible. And so I hope we can implement a lot of those at uh, for town meeting this year. Um, let's see, and some of them we're already complying with, but just there's new things that we hadn't thought of that come up from time to time. Let's see. And we voted to recommend um, the approval of articles concerning easements at 14 Hazel Road, 77 South Street, 20 Donny Place, and for the Lake Maspinac Dam repairs. Uh, let's see. And then we reviewed the MWRA Southboro Interconnection Project Intermunicipal Agreement. Um, uh, so we went through that all to, and we all voted to sign the, let, to allow the sign, town manager to sign that agreement as long as there were not any non, not any sub substantive changes before signing. And Southboro is having their town meeting this coming weekend on Saturday. So we hope that they will vote in our favor and then we can begin the design work, which we already voted to fund at last year's town meeting to design the interconnection, but it will take several years to build. But we had the filtration system for fruits, the Fruit Street well is, um, they have a winning contractor um, who bid on it and they will need to just, you know, do their due diligence and check, um, check their references and everything. But hopefully that will be going forward very soon now. Also, um, we approved the swap trick housing, shared housing services in our municipal agreement with several other towns. We will have a shared housing officer for to manage our affordable housing in Hopkinton and several other towns. It's not something we needed a whole position for, but if we share it with other towns, that's much more than we have now. So we are looking forward to that because we have a big affordable housing trust fund. Um, and we need to find ways to sense, spend that either um, on improving the affordable housing that we have or building more or deciding. Anyway, that he, this, this person will be a resource and will help us decide how to proceed. Let's see, the Main Street Corridor project is gonna start resuming um, after the marathon. I've seen a little bit of work going on even just this last week, but um, the major work will start going on right after the marathon and it's supposed to be done in fall of 2023. So this is our last year of three years. So I'm looking forward to that being done for sure. But I have enjoyed walking on the newly paved sidewalks that are already done myself. Um, let's see, I think I already talked about the PFAS. And then it was a pretty long meeting, so we kind of skipped through um, liaison reports and board invites, except to note that um, there was going to be a tour of the E.L. Harvey facility with the Sustainable Greening Committee on March 20th, and select board members were invited to attend if they were available. So I was not able to go, but I hope that some other select board members were able to go. And if not, the Sustainable Green Committee did go, and we can hear, get a report from them. Um, let's see. And I think that was about it. So thank you very much.